Greetings. We are back from all around the world. I hope you're all doing well today and you're having a great day. You got yourself a nice cup of coffee because we got something to do today. All right. Last time we left, uh, we just lined everything up. I've just gone ahead and I've made myself a belt. I'll show you how I did it, but I'm not going to take you through the whole process. I'll show you the concept and let you do it on your own for you don't have to wait an hour for me to do it. You, once you understand the concept, you're going to pause the video. And then if you need to go through it a few times, you get confused, anything like that, you're going to come back to just this part right now that I'm about to show you. Okay, so in normal mode, we're going to shift A. We're going to call a cube. Now there might be a better way to start this, but I don't know it. This is the way I've learned, so I'll show you what I've learned. And if you think there's a better way, you can go ahead and tell me in the comments. But I think this is the way, so we'll go ahead. So this is what we're going to do. We've just made a dot. Okay. So we're going to slide it right underneath here. Probably anywhere here. Probably maybe this uh, flat spot underneath would be a good spot to start. Okay. But um, once you got it in place, we'll just give you an example, and I'll do it out in the open to show you. We're going to hit E. Oh, no, sorry. We're going to go to edit mode again. Click it. I clicked on it. I'll do it in this mode. Um, I get messed up here. No. Edit mode. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what it is. I need to be on vertices. I'm so sorry. Make sure you're on vertices at the top. I was a little confused there. It must have been working in a different mode. So what we're going to do is move it out a little bit. And then we're going to find the right axis. So I'm going to hit X is going to be the right axis for me. Yours might be different. Should be the same. Okay. And then we're just going to sit there. Sorry, we're just uh, work our way across. Put a dot every once in a while in case you need to make an adjustment. And so forth. <coughs> okay. For example, I'll get us over here just to show you. Probably going to want to put a couple more dots in there in case you need to adjust. Then we're going to do the same, but this time we're going to grab it and we're just going to follow the contour, add a little bit, and here, and then we go up a little bit more. When we're around the bend, we're going to hit E, then we're going to hit Z, for example, and slowly follow the bend around, and then slowly work your curve out, make sure that it all fits in there nicely. Once everything is done, I'll stop here for my example. You'll have a more of this shape in general, obviously. So once you're done, you're going to take it and you're going to hit Shift D. Okay. And we're going to do this. Okay. Again, you're going to have this shape though, the full thing. So you're just going to make two beside each other. Grab one, grab the other one, Control J, click off it click on it, go into edit mode. When in edit mode, we're going to go to lines, okay? <coughs> and we're going to be able to join them like this by hitting F. You're going to follow the whole thing around, doing one, oops. <laughs> so make sure you got the right ones, otherwise you're going to have issues. Follow the whole thing around, connecting all your edges like that. It's going to take a little while, and that's why I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration let you do it on your own time because you don't want to watch me do it for an hour, right? So anyways, when you have gotten all the way around, pause the video if you're not there yet. Come back when you are. Okay, you're back. Oops. Let's not do that. Edit. Okay, head back out of this mode. I'm just going to make sure I didn't... Yeah, okay. Shift D. Okay. And then you're just going to take the second one and you're going to hit S. And then you're just going to move it around. Slowly close the gap so you have an even gap the whole way around. And you have a pretty even looking belt. Might take a couple minutes. Make sure you do it right. Next. Grab the top, grab the bottom. Control J. Okay. This is how I would do it again. There might be a better way, but I can't think of one that you're going to be able to trace it out like that. So, this is what I would do. 
anyways so you're gonna just fill it down the side now okay whole way around okay and then we're gonna come to this side and do the same thing pause it while you catch up if you're behind sorry we can't do that one yet oops I think you get the idea so I'll just stop here but I think you guys get what I'm trying to say oops that one was messed up anyways I gotta do that better make sure you only got the right edges you're trying to connect like so right so you do that the whole way around and you would have yourself a belt like mine when you're happy with the shape of it you may have to kind of work it around and work on some of the edges to make it a little nicer to make it look like a nice belt make sure it fits well okay put it in place shrink it side to side if you need to make sure it fits in the groove move some of your parts up if you need to you might have to adjust these we've got an extra hole here as you can see now luckily I don't think it goes all the way through but either way we'll find something to fix that up maybe we'll just put a screw in it that would be fine so when you're done delete that done okay now I think we're getting pretty far so far we have a belt basically I have a running engine have no fuel coming in probably need an oil reservoir somewhere oh no I guess you wouldn't have that we just need to make an oil um, dump into the top of the engine for you can add oil in there maybe you want a little reservoir off to the side up to you um, yeah we'll probably go through the top I'd imagine and again I haven't really thought this out too much but we're probably I don't think we've gone ahead and uh, sealed this yet so we can go through there we can make something that kind of sticks out but I don't know, maybe from here and comes up for there to be a little slot put it in over here kind of up to you what look you're going for also you probably need a dipstick depending on if your game's gonna have a functioning um, oil uh, fluids that actually exist so and up here let's just I don't think we're gonna need these anymore so we'll just delete those okay if we need them we can pull them out of the engine and copy them we might have to adjust their axis a little bit but I think it'll be fine so let's think about how we'd like to go through the top of the engine with an oil cap or we can go behind here it probably makes more sense and then we can make use of these extra bolt holes maybe and we can shift D like that and we can work that over find the right spot I need to go in there a little bit as you can see I'm a bit off should line up because we didn't move them side to side or up and down we just moved them a little bit side to side now pull it out make sure you uh, make sure that you're on the axis and you don't drag it off. It's very important to keep things on their axis. If we're able to just slide them back in when we're done, okay? Now, is that already attached? Yes, it is. And I don't see any more squares, so we're going to have to make one again. So we're going to shift A. And we'll make a cube. Okay. Perfect. Uh, maybe we'll start off with a mounting plate this time to get our mount set up for our we'll do an oil reservoir and a dip stick maybe that doesn't make sense to do that here I guess it would kind of make more sense to go through the side of the or through the top of the engine but that's what we're gonna do I think if you want to go through the top of the engine you feel free to do that it's not a big deal just gonna move those screws up there basically you just gotta flip their axis and make your mount up there probably have to pilot some holes maybe copy them first and fill these holes with just two screws up to you though okay once you're kind of in place looks like we're gonna hit that so I'm gonna have to shrink this way See if we can 
go a little smaller. But we should be able to slide it right behind that mount, basically. Okay. When you're happy, hopefully these just slide right back in. A little tight on the top one, so I'm able to slide it up a bit more. Make it like that, maybe. Give it a little bit more of a gap between the one below. Maybe if you're changing parts, you want to move your screw holes in a little bit. We're going to copy these, Shift D. And before we do anything, we will make our mount holes. Oops, I think I moved those on the wrong axis. Let's just undo that. If that happens, you can just undo it and remove it. Okay. So we'll probably take these two, make a bool, and difference. Okay. So this time we started off with this part ready to be mounted, right? So probably need another square again. We probably should have duplicated that last one. Sometimes that happened. Shift D. Nope. Undo that. Sorry. Don't Shift D. So we're going to undo that. We're going to shift A and we're going to cube again. Cube in it. Pull it over. Pull it out. Pull it up. Try to get centered. Shrink it down. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, we're going to have to. We're going to hit that other part. So something like this. We're going to have to keep in mind that we have to miss the two holes there. So let's shrink it down. Okay, we're missing them both. And try to center it between the two holes as best as you can. Okay. Alright. And we'll grab it again. Let's move it out. Let's do a little bit of shaping, okay? It's probably a bit too long, so... First off the hop, though. Let's go into edit mode. Let's grab this lip. Let's just drag it that way. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do... This, 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 and this. Okay. We want the back to be flat. We want the bottom to be flat. We want the top to be a little rounded. So let's just do this. Just to give it a nice look, okay? Oh, you know what? Let's undo that. Let's go a little bit more. Let's do this one, 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 this one. Alright, I think we got it. Control B. Something like that, maybe? Try to leave a big panel on the top because we're going to have to put an oil thing and we're going to try to have to put a, probably have to put um, a dipstick too. We can probably put the dipstick somewhere else if we need to though. Okay, so let's get in the right position. Alright, so something like that. Make sure it's right at the back. Give our screws some more room. Okay, I think we're pretty good on the size. We just got to make sure that we're inside of it. I think we are. If you want to shrink it just a hair, probably good. So something like that. I don't know if we're going to be able to do a dipstick here. It doesn't really make sense. The oil reservoir does, as long as we make it hollow inside. So, probably do something like Shift D, and then we'll hit S. I'll just shrink that down a little bit. Like that object difference. Okay. That way, if um, we actually uh, pour oil into it, you'll, it'll be empty, and you can make it look like it's filling up and then just drain it to the engine. We can drill a real hole through to the engine if you really want to. 
you would just pull this out find our cylinder if you lost it maybe pull it out as well and when you're ready get it over the right spot 90 here oh I got that one right look at me S cool good work Let's do something like that. Okay, now we have to do this a lot of times, but I'm just going to do it just because some of you people out there are making a real engine and you just want it to be as real as possible, right? Maybe I'll copy this an extra time before we do this because we're going to need an oil cap. We're going to need a hole in the top. This is going to get a little complicated. Stick with me, guys. You got this. So we're just going to wind that in there as far as you want to go. Probably into the middle. Maybe, um, I think we're okay on the bottom. No, we're not. Okay, so let's first move this up. I think that's better. Let's double check. Raise this one. Okay. Shift D it. First off, maybe we'll do this one. This, this, object, pool, difference, okay? Grab it again. Shift D. Wind it in. That, then the engine. Objective. Pool, difference, okay? I guess I wanted to go a little further than that. I'll just go back grab just this one wind it in a bit more until you're happy try not to hit your cylinders I don't think we're going to though probably not going to get far enough in there that you're going to open it up without hitting your cylinder so we'll just do this and if you want to paint the inside of it black for a better look or you can pull all the way through and just make a tunnel slowly maybe angle this whatever you need to do I'm just going to do this for the look and go ahead and difference And as you can see, I've tunneled all the way through. If you want, you can move your pistons out of the way and go right through, whatever you need to do. Okay? Now, this one. We want to use this on this to pool difference. Okay? So now we have our part. It connects to this. Okay? won't attach them because we still have a few more bools. Once these are attached, these screws hold it on. We have our screws still lined up. We just need a way to put oil in the top. So let's take our 90 out of this by hitting zero. Put a 90 up here. Oh, no, you know what? We don't need a 90. I'm sorry. We will just keep it zeros all the way around the board. All right. This one's going to have to be a little bit smaller, obviously. So maybe we will shift D it before we do anything else because our cap can be that big just this part won't be okay let's click it shrink it down until you fit well into this like so I decide this is where I'm gonna go in you decide on your own where you want to go in shift D okay so we're gonna need that again because now that we have that size always make a spare just in case you decide you need to make something the same hole or same size as the hole, not the same hole. Well, I guess same hole. You get what I'm saying. So, there we go. We're booled into it. There's a tunnel that goes in there. So when we pour oil in, it'll slowly drain into the engine. This works for me. Do what works for you. Just giving you an example, okay? So, let's make this shorter, probably. Not, oops, not too much shorter. And then we're going to shift D it. And we're going to make it longer. And then we're going to S it until we're happy with the size okay have a look at it make sure go ahead and oh, I'm sorry I clicked off of it there oh I, there's one trick you can do is just undo and it should grab what you just had so we'll go up to bool and difference okay perfect want to change the size now's the time think I'm okay with this size because it's just going to make it easier from the top half of the engine to reach down and grab this to fill it up and stuff like that. Normally I'd extract from the end of this but as I've been learning it's better to make the piece if you can than it is to extract unless you're going to subdivide after because you're going to have issues with texturing. 
I'm not gonna texture this stuff more than like one color but I will just do this just to make sure it goes on smoothly basically okay you do what you do what's good for you I just thought I'd explain it okay so this one can't go all the way through because it's not exactly the same it's an oil cap right so we're gonna go do that but then we're gonna go down a little bit before we delete it let's make a new one because those pieces are all gonna be used now okay take this one S Decide on your cap size. Make sure it's going to fit on there. So maybe go a little close to the edge because you got to make sure it's going to fit. Let's bool that. Difference. Okay. Now our cap fits. Well, it's too big, Lord Fish. Shrink it until you're happy, okay? Oil cap. Want it to look a little different? Let's grab the face and see if we can bevel and not go all the way through. Again, this is going to change the texture a little bit. But this is what I want here. You don't have to follow this step. Up to you. Control B if you do. You know, just kind of do that. That's the look I want. That's how I want it to texture. That's what I'm going to do. Again, it's up to you. Okay. So the oil cap is now on. I'm going to have to put my dipstick somewhere else, so I'm just going to go ahead and attach these things together. So I'm probably going to want this to be the last piece. That's really thick. I didn't mean to make it so thick. I'll make it just a bit thinner. Any final adjustments you need to do? Now is a good time for it. Okay, I just made that a little bit thinner. I do it a little bit more still. Okay. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter too much how thick you make the plate as long as it's thick enough to hold your screws. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. Control J. Join my piece together. Up to you if you want to attach the cap. You probably want to make it for disattaches, so we'll leave that loose. Okay. But our part will go all together. So if we were to break it, buy a new one, you know, yada yada have them have different stats that's the part we would use put our screws in until we're happy boom okay our part is in our engine again you can name them you can keep them apart it's all up to you maybe you want to join them together into one and then as you're exporting them break them apart maybe you just want to import one of each bolts and then each type of bolt. Maybe you want to switch them all to one bolt. It's all going to depend on what you're doing in your game. So I can't really give you too much instruction there. Sorry, I'm just getting a swig of my coffee again. Um, so next, um, let's see, we got our oil. Oh, we need a dipstick, right? We still haven't done our dipstick, so... And we saved an extra piece, though, so it's not going to be a big deal, right? I guess we can make a new one pretty easily, but Shift-D. Okay. Got an idea for this. Hopefully it works. Again, I don't plan this out, so hopefully you guys understand that. And you appreciate the facts I'm willing to make so many mistakes in front of you guys. Usually people would be pretty embarrassed about this stuff, but I think it's part of life, really. Everybody makes mistakes, right? So I don't want to hide them from you guys. I don't want to be that guy. My ego's just not that for real. Okay, so I'm going to try this, and hopefully it works out for us. I know what a dipstick looks like, so I'm going to just try to make it out of my imagination. Hopefully it's right to you guys as well. Difference. Okay. So that's going to be the top. I'm going to make that a lot thinner, I think. And that's just going to be the ring that we pull it off by. This here looks a little funny, but I think it's right, actually. So what I'm going to do is Shift D. And again, because we're making kind of a cap, we'll just pull it down a little bit. And then we'll just shrink it a little bit until we're happy, okay? Something like that. And then we're going to Shift D before we do anything again, because this is going to be the same size as our hole, okay? So this will sit on here and go all the way through to our engine. We got a lot of cuts to get to our engine, 
but essentially if you had oil at the bottom you should be able to measure your dipstick the right size probably somewhere down here and get mostly through to be able to check your oil pressure maybe at this point actually okay let's cut this one first so we're gonna pull it like that okay should be able to attach these two maybe we'll attach that one to that one like so okay grab this with it and we'll just do okay we'll just drag this over a little bit I'll drag this one over a little bit something like that try to get them lined up as best as you can should be pretty good this should help um, this is going to be the hole that that sits over. So maybe we'll do this a different way than I was thinking. We're going to shift D this. Okay. This is going to be a little cap that maybe um, sits just inside. Hmm. How should I do this? Something like that. And then I'll make this smaller and the dipstick will go through there. Okay. That makes sense to me. Make it make sense to you, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. And remember, if I get ahead of you, or if you get a little bit confused and you need a minute to think, just pause the video. And make sure your thumbs up when you get a second, too. I need the thumbs up for other people who can find these videos, and if they're having troubles, or if they just need ideas. Maybe you just think I'm a cool person, and you think others should meet me. Thumbs up, subscribe, I'm glad you joined us. Alright, so I'm going to do this, got this little piece, grab that piece, going to go ahead and object, bool, just trying to make sure I don't need, to. maybe we'll just steal this piece again just in case, shift D, okay, just trying to make sure I didn't need it, again, try to think ahead, difference, okay. So I think we're all the way through. Yes, okay. So next we would probably want to do something like this. Something like that, but let's first just grab the tip. If you can, just grab the one face, hit S. Shrink it down a little bit for the whole thing tapers as it goes down. Jump out. I have to make it much longer. Basically, gonna have to make it the length that you're gonna need your dipstick to be. Looks like I might have moved it side to side a little bit. Yeah, I did. I don't know when I did that. Let's go back for I don't have to figure it out on my own. Find it when we move that. Uh oh. Looks like it was pretty far ago. Might have to go back to the pool. Sorry if you did the same thing, but you probably didn't. It was probably just me. Sometimes you're going to miss it. You're going to move it by accident. What the heck? So this isn't lined up with that above it? Or am I just seeing things wrong? No, I think it is. Yes, we could always move that anyways. Sorry about that, guys. Just don't want to steer us down the wrong road again. Difference. So we'll take our time. We always do just to make sure. Okay. I'm just going to make sure I'm in the right spot. Looks like it. Just grab that. S it. A little bit. Not too much. Okay. And then as we go down... I might have swayed it there. Okay. I'm just going to have to guess at this, and we'll probably have to do this a few times. So I'm just going to move it down to the right height. And we just got to keep making sure we copy it before we do this. I think that's about right. So Shift D. Okay. And we will go ahead and. that out of this first top one. Uh-oh. I don't know how this
this is going to go because it looks like we have some stuff booled to it. So we're going to do the second bool. See how it goes. It went, I think. No? Let's have a look. I can't tell if it went and there's just things in the way or what. Let's have a look. Yeah, it went. Okay, it's fine. So, we can go ahead and apply that, I believe. I don't see anything missing, so... Hopefully I'm not missing something. <laughs> Alright, so we're through the first one. I'm going to shift D, because we need this again. Okay? I'm going to go through this. Objective. Bool. Difference. Okay? And you're going to have to be very careful in these processes. Now I think we're okay and we've made it all the way through. We'll probably get inside the engine and have a look where we are, but it's going to be a little hard. No, I can't get close enough to see. I'll pull it apart after and hope we're right. I tried to miss everything though, I really did. Okay. Um. I think we just go through that one. Oh, we're going to have to go through this one, too. So, Shift D. This one. No, sorry. There we go. There we go. Oh, wait. we got to have this one first. Then... Oh, jeez. This is going to be hard to do, guys. Got to make sure we get that one. Do what you gotta do to get the right one. There we go. So now, I think I duplicated it. It's getting a little complicated. Sorry if I'm messing up a bit. It's really hard on your mind when you're constantly going like that. I think we're good. Don't see anything missing. I don't see anything with a hole in it that shouldn't have a hole in it. So I'm going to say we're good. Let's pull this off to the side and see if we can have a look through. Ah, it's looking pretty good. It looks like it went well. So now we should be able to take this. This is centered, so if this isn't, I think it is. It's hard to say. No, it's not. It's centered if it's off at all. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, take this, and we are going to not use S because it's going to change the height, and we set the height exactly to what we want. So we're going to make ourselves a dipstick, okay? Flatten it out. Oops. Flatten it out one way, kind of round the other. It's pretty thin. Okay. We might want to just take it down just a hair or it doesn't quite hit the bottom maybe you want to leave it you can just undo if you didn't want to move it down just the bottom when it's all good control J made our dipstick should fit right on okay again should reach right into our oil pan if you're actually doing fluids, should look should actually work. And if you are just doing it for looks, never hurts. And just wait to attach it to the engine until we're done everything else. Oh boy, guys, we have come so far. We have done so much. If you've been with me this whole time, if you're doing this, I got to say way to go. Oh, I see a little issue here. Eh? Ouch. That plate must have moved on the back side. I don't know what happened there. If this happened, you just try to maybe minimize it between them. I guess that doesn't work either. We might have to remake that one. Oh my, I wonder what happened there. Just gonna undo that. Did 
Did this just get moved? Looks like just the one of them just got moved. I don't know. Let's do that. I should fix it up, right? I don't know what happened there, but whatever it is, I think we're back on track. I might have moved it. I sometimes I do that. Not a big deal. Fixed up. All right. Now it looks like that doesn't quite meet. Uh, sorry about this. I should be doing this on my own time, I suppose. But if this happens to you, it's easy enough to fix. Just move a few of the vortex. Just make sure you didn't stretch anything too bad. That looks a lot better. Perfect. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so... I don't know what's next. Um, we got everything. Maybe a radiator. Maybe we're going to have to build the wheels and body. I don't know if I should separate that in another video, because you guys might have already made wheels with me before. Maybe you'd like to make them again. Maybe I should make a quick ones. Maybe I should do some fancier ones. Not really sure. Maybe um, maybe I'll come back in the next episode and we'll decide then. Until then, remember to check out uh, Fish in a Town to Remember. It's available on Steam. And I was the creator, and uh, me and another my partner designed it together. Pretty cool game. I'm sure you'll like it. If you're having fun, make sure you thumbs up, make sure you like, make sure you uh, subscribe for you can see my next videos. And thank you for joining again, guys. Hope you had a great time with me.